There is a legend of a secret order born in ancient Egypt called the Eye. It is said they perfected sleight of hand to steal food from the pharaohs and give it to the slaves. Their purpose? Using magic and delusion to even the scales of justice. Are the horsemen next in a long line of fools to believe this myth? Will they evade the rules of law and logic like they did in Las Vegas? Or will the dark mysticism of this southern swampland get the better of them? Bravo, Mr. Bradley. Either you have a cease and desist, but you don't. Or you should leave. If I want something to cease or desist, it does. Take five. According to your potential backers, you stand to make two and a half million tops from your best special. I have here a check. Three and a half million. To walk away? To fly away. My jet is at your disposal. Let's not kid ourselves, Mr. Tressler. You're in this to ride them up. I'm in it to ride them down. I take it that we do not have a deal. And therein lies our conflict. Let me be blunt. My bank account is much, much bigger than yours. And my lawyers are much stronger. And they will manacle you with so many injunctions until you stand by hopelessly watching everything that you own drain away in front of your greedy little eyes. This isn't the first time I've been threatened. And I'm still here. It is, however, the first time you've been threatened by me. And if you do anything to sully my investment, the ride down that you mentioned will be sudden, precipitous, and measurable on the Richter scale. Oops, you shouldn't have done that. According to superstition, one who uses a doll to enact one's own wrath is likely to bring that very wrath unto himself. Isn't that funny? And I thought you didn't believe in magic. 